Hey guys, Melissa here. Um, I want to talk about Roe vs. Wade right now. The movie's coming out tomorrow and I am so excited to see this movie. I'm actually a little nervous too because I'm wondering how I'm going to react to this. Um, somebody invited me also to go on a radio station to watch this movie, um, have a discussion about it. It's going to be recorded and then possibly a part two with my story on the radio. I've had a couple offers to possibly go on the radio and it's been something that's been in a slow progress um, with getting everything together, but it's good because it's given me some time to think. I am super camera shy. I mean, if you look at my other videos, I keep saying um, and it's a word that I use a lot but I am getting better at this. The more I practice, the more I throw myself out here. Um, when I was a kid too, I used to get so nervous speaking in public. I remember we used to have to get up and, you know, talk and give a report about our story and my face would turn beet red. My chin would start wiggling. I There was nothing I could do. It's just totally embarrassing sometimes. I do not like to be like somebody who, you know, I to, to know that I've been on camera when I didn't know, that kind of bothers me. Um, I'm someone who really values my privacy, but at the same time, I'm also somebody who's outwardly focused. I like to help people and the camera shyness is going away. It's getting better, so I'm working on it. So anyways, um, I'm really excited about this video or this movie coming out. Being frugal, I have not gone to the movie theater in ages. I, It's been a long time. Let me see. It was actually, wait a minute, there was a time I went with my son who treated me for my birthday and we went out and we saw Creed because I'm a huge Rocky fan. And then before that, I think it had been like 20 years since I had been to the movie theater. I think they're expensive. I think it's fine you know, to go out if you want as a treat. But there wasn't, you know, a whole lot I wanted to see in the movie theater. And I'm always someone who likes, I would rather buy a movie, watch it as a family at home. It's usually cheaper. But this, this Roe versus Wade, I feel like I cannot wait until it comes out. I can't wait until, um, you know, till it comes on DVD to go, you know, buy it. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to probably seeing a lot I can relate to from my story. I have shared about how um, I was, you know, just coerced or there was just no communication and I was taken, very little communication, and I was taken to a clinic and um, there was no informed consent. I had no idea what was going to happen at all. So I'm going to be talking about that in bringing my story together better and how it does affect women all their life and you can heal. It's not something like a disease or something that you cannot heal from, but by God's grace and knowing through all the trials of life, no matter what they are, we have a very good God, an extremely good God, and we want his name known across nations and to know that he is good. And many times we can get stuck in life if we keep getting hit in life with one thing after another. And we can actually feel like, you know, I have had enough of this. And the pain, when you are in pain, when you have been mistreated repeatedly, um, you want more of that pain. You want the pain to come until it hurts no more. So in, in you know, underlying that too is you want goodness to come into your life. You want to be um, able to have opportunities or resources or connections to allow you to feel God's goodness and how very good he is day after day um, to help you heal from those wounds. So I'm looking forward to this and uh, I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay, thanks for talking or hanging out with me as I talk.